continent to act collectively to advance the interests of the African masses as a whole, and which is a fundamental condition for the success of each of our countries, as well as the unity of the oppressed in our country with regard to the struggle for our liberation. The last point we'd like to make in this context is that we need to do, is what we need to do to help ensure that Africa claims the 21st century relates to what Yosoga said almost 150 years ago. That we must develop the media and the means to communicate correctly about who we are, what we are, what we are doing to change our condition, and where we seek to be tomorrow and the day after. Thus should we, on both the objective and the subjective planes, act to determine our destiny, to keep our individuality and distinctiveness among the wreck of empires and the revolution of ages, as Dio Soga put it. A fortnight hence, the 2010 FIFA Soga World Cup will kick off. From the beginning, we had intended that this important tournament should help Africa to determine her destiny and take its rightful place in the world community of nations. In this regard, when we presented our bid to the FIFA Executive Committee in 2004, I said that the millions of Africans have embarked on an exciting human journey. This is an African journey of hope. Hope that in time will arrive at a future when our continent will be free of wars, of refugees and displaced people, free of tyranny, of racial, of ethnic, of religious divisions and conflicts, of hunger, and the accumulated weight of centuries of the denial of our human dignity. Through the decision to afford Africa the privilege to host the Soccer World Cup, we said then that FIFA has conveyed the message to all Africans, both on the continent and the African diaspora, that you are ready and willing to accompany us on our journey of hope and give us the strength and stamina we need to traverse the difficult terrain that separates us from Africa's renaissance. Accordingly, as we wish our national team, Bafana Bafana, and the tournament success, we must at the same time use the occasion of the Soccer World Cup to inspire ourselves to persist on our journey of hope, supporting the decisions taken by the African Union which make this decade the African Women's Decade, and this year the year of promoting peace through sport. Earlier in this lecture, I spoke of Dio Soga's newspaper, Indal. Unfortunately, during its third year, it ceased publication. However, it was replaced by Isiki Dimi Samakos, which became a platform for vigorous debate among the emerging African intelligentsia. One of its most uh, active contributors